In this video, we'll take a quick look at how we can capture syslog information without setting up a syslog application and or server. We're going to use a base station, DBS 110. We're going to go to management. We're going to go down to where it says syslog slash SIP log. We're going to enable the messaging. So we're going to make sure where it says upload of SIP log. We're going to say enable. We're going to make sure the syslog level is debug. We're going to keep the security off because we want to be able to capture these packets via Wireshark and take a look at the payload. So upload, enable, the syslog level is debug. That's very critical for troubleshooting. And then we want to type in the IP address of our computer where we're going to be running Wireshark and already has information cached from before, 192.168.1.33. Okay, if you notice the port's going to be UDP port 514. We're going to go and save this to the base station. We're going to acknowledge. Okay, I don't need to update that. Okay, and then we're going to go into the actual computer that has Wireshark. We're going to launch Wireshark. Okay, and then we want to actually do a filter because we want to capture only the syslog information. So we're going to do a UDP port filter. We're going to make sure we select the NIC card where we're actually physically plugged into the same network as where the actual base station is so we can receive packets from it. Okay, so we have the correct NIC card UDP. UDP port 514. We're going to give it a few moments here for it to start sending syslog messages over to this PC. So what the objective is here is if we have a situation where we cannot install syslog server and or application of our environment, however, we are permitted to use Wireshark and we're not doing any port mirroring. We're simply in this case doing um, a capture on the PC. I'm just going to check my IP address. Oh, okay, there we go. It started. I wanted to make sure it didn't change. But in any case, in this scenario, we're running a PC that's within the same LAN as the actual base station. The base station sending over syslog messages. And we're not running syslog application and or server on this PC. We are running Wireshark. We are filtering explicitly for UDP port 514 packets. So the only packets the actual Wireshark is going to capture is going to be the syslog package. You could also specify the source. In this case, there is no need to do that. We only have one device enabled with syslog. It's a unicast type of traffic pattern, meaning that the traffic pattern is directed directly towards this PC. So just using a filter of UDP port 514 is enough. So basically the concept is once whatever event you're trying to capture occurs, we would go ahead and stop the Wireshark capture and then save it to our PC locally. Normally this is not something that you need to do, but we're just showing an example. If for some reason you cannot use a syslog application in your environment and or a syslog server and you're permitted to use Wireshark, you could simply point to the PC with Wireshark via IP address from the device that's sending syslog messages, in this case debug messages, and just let, let the PC with Wireshark capture those packets. And then obviously you would want to go and save those packets or the PCAP to your hard drive once whatever event occurs complete. So we're going to go ahead and stop it right now. We're going to go to save as, and then we're going to go ahead and give it a name. So I'm just going to use the name I had. I'm just going to go ahead and add some additional characters to it. So hopefully this gives you an idea if you need to capture information via syslog, but you're not permitted to run a syslog application, a uh, easy way to get around that by using Wireshark. Thank you for watching the video.